down. Three opponents down. Double down. Three opponents down. Their lead has diminished. Double down. Triple down. Double down. Three opponents down. Two for one. Three opponents down. Zone C captured. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Frostbolt and welcome to the video. Before we talk about the stuff going down here, let me just say thank you for 60,000 subscribers on the channel, man. I'm super glad to have all the support and have you guys tuning into the video, supporting me, making this like a reality for me. So thank you so much. Appreciate it, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going down here. So Polaris lands an exotic weapon I've never used before, but now that I've have, I've realized I've been missing out. This thing is super satisfying, super fun to use, and I'm super happy that I have it now. Anyways, just going to do a little quick breakdown because this weapon has been out since Warmind, but back then I couldn't get myself to grant any of the PvE stuff. You know, back in Destiny 1, I would have grant all the PvE things. I loved it, but, you know, back then in Destiny 2, early days, it was pretty boring. Now that the sandbox is different and we're approaching the new season, new raid, I'm doing some preparations and unlocking some older weapons like this one. So let's talk about it. Anyways, this thing, you're going to need three headshots to get a kill, and it has a beautiful exotic perk called the Perfect Fifth. So when you hit four headshots, the fifth one is going to cause an explosion, and that's going to do a lot more damage. Unfortunately, you cannot two-tap to the head, so you are going to have to hit another shot, which can be a body shot. But, you know, there's ways to go around that by using little damage boosts from One-Eyed Mask, Inertia Override, Frontal Assault, Empowering Rift, things like that. Anyways, here are the perks as well for those that are curious. I did manage to unlock the catalyst so whenever i get a headshot kill people are going to explode and you know it just works perfectly well with the whole hitting headshots thing it's a headshot machine basically anyways obviously i'm gonna pair this up with one end mask so that we can balance things out because the maps are kind of small and you know there's going to be 180 spam there's going to be other better weapons in the meta to go up again so this is going to help us with that also the damage boost is going to help us two tap and one little thing that I just really, really enjoy that I can synergize is the bottom tree sunbreaker sunspots with the uh, exotic weapon. Now, hear me out. If I hit an explosive shot on somebody and they burn out, guess what? They turn into a sunspot. And if they turn into a sunspot and I walk into that, I get the boost. I get a five second boost of damage and my abilities recharge faster for those five seconds as well. And if somebody's nearby that sunspot, they're gonna burn out immediately because those things got a damage bu a boost and they do so much damage now. Anyways, that also synergizes with the whole dragonfly thing and you can just kind of imagine it. You know, it's, it's crazy stuff going down. Anyways, for the rest of our loadout, we're gonna be using Total and Trouble Shotgun, Full Choke, Acarize, Field Prep, Snapshot, Stability Masterwork with an Acarus Grip mod. We're gonna be using Hammerhead in case we do pick up some power ammo, but you guys know, I usually tend to not wanna pick up any power. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the build. Let's go ahead and get into it to see what we can do. Execute all targets. If you guys sure can see me right now, I got like the biggest smile on my face because look at the map we got. <laughs> we got Polaris Lands Clash on Equinox. This is like the perfect map to be abusing this guy right flat. So we're just going to sit across the map. Obviously not too much to think about here. We're going to stay as far as possible. <laughs> and it's going to be really passive, but... That's what I want to do with the Skyrim, okay? We're going to approach how to play different play styles with different weapons that we have our hands on. This time, we have a Sky Rifle in our hands. AKA, we pre aim the whole game. I envy your strength, Tyson. Oh, he has a Ace of Spades with the overshield. Now, I don't know if in your perspective, while you're watching me play the way that I am, is boring, but I will tell you, this is a blast for me, okay? You can turn this, time. this is so much fun. He still has Ace of Spades. I might have to rotate out of here and look for a different angle because these guys are slowly gonna try to rush. We helped our team in right there. Let's get some range. You 
Take no. We have two guys in a shotgun battle there. Thankfully, though, we did manage to get two kills before going down. So the scoreboard is not looking too bad. Now that we have a spawn flip, we can go back to doing the thing what we do, which is sit as far as back as possible with the Sky Rifle. Oh, we got a Contester. We got a Jade Rabbit on the enemy team. He thinks he got what it takes to compete, huh? I'm worried to uh, ignore the left side because they might have a Sky Rifle there, too. Actually, you know, let's, let's sit as far as we can over here. Oh, no. He's all the way over there. Listen, that is zero. This is my map, okay? And I'm not going to let you ruin my Polaris Lance match because you think you can hang with a Jade Rabbit. We're going to go right side. And we're gonna sit as far as back as possible. You're gonna probably hear me say that a, a lot of times, okay? Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Peek, peek, peek. <laughs> oh my god, let's pop a barricade here just so we can take some cover at some point. Yo, they can't. I'm too far. Oh, they have a pulse rifle. Let's uh, be careful here. No, no, no. Relax yourself. Let's look at look. Nice. We got a headshot kill on this guy. We're gonna continue to spawn trap them every time they peek. But look, they're adapting. Okay, they're switching to pulse rifles. They got a scout rifle too. Like. I'm not being toxic right now. Two for one. It's their fault they're not adapting, right? I mean, come on. Come on, come on. This is a lot of fun. You're too fast for me. It looks like these guys are going to spawn on the left side now. We have a teammate here too, so we can prepare for this part. Nice. We got a nice little three tap right there. He's challenging me with a pulse rifle from that far. I missed like two shots at the beginning. Trying to get those headshots so I can get the three tap. Managed to land two, unable to hit the third. Gotta hit those, man. Gotta click the heads. Players on the right side, here's the sky rifle. You think you got what it takes, man? Oh no. I didn't see the sky rifle player. But I think that's the point. You're not supposed to see him. <laughs> oh, that's a shade wabby. No, I hit him several times. Hopefully he gets killed out of the Spectral Blades here. I think he got him though. I think he goldied him. Cause I heard him I heard him shoot one shot and then I don't see any Spectral Blades anymore. So yeah. We managed to help our teammate out in that situation. Same with this guy right here. Rip the Sentinel. Getting dumped like a million sky rifle shots. Only five minutes left. We're going to sit here <laughs> patiently and waiting for these guys to walk over. Oh no. Yo, this guy with the Jade Rabbit, bro. Look, I'm about to switch to a shotgun and just ape. I need to be the only sky rifle right now. Those are two supers. You know, we're gonna do what we've been doing this whole game. Sit back, you know? Wow, Frost. I didn't think you were a camper. Wow, Frost. Since when do you sit at the back of the map? Wow, Frost. Ooh, we got a three piece here. Managed to counter a striker and a spectral blades. We'll take that. Oh, I got enough for one more hammer throw. Nice, we barely. Oh! Double down. Oh! We barely. I was about to say, we barely managed to get all those kills. Made a little clutch play. There's a Sky Rifle player in that part. You know what? I think I'm gonna get closer. Just ignore that power. I'm not really interested in that. I'm having too much fun with the scout. Yikes. 
He's gonna get killed too, my teammate on the pillar thing. The whole team is spawning back there. Uh, these guys have adapted. They have learned ways of sitting in their spawn. I'm proud. Two for one. Yeah, yeah, get out of my face, bro. I have a better scout rifle shot. Three minutes remaining. I have to be careful, man. Being wet in the open. Oh, he just Lord of Wolves spanned me. But we did manage to get one down before that guy killed us, thankfully. And the Stonecaller just went in. Double down. Looking at these radar pings, making sure. Oh my god, I love this scout rifle. It's so fun. Oh, you won't. <gasps> this thing feels so good. Like, I don't know. It's so satisfying just connecting my shots, like getting those three taps. It really is. Let's get this nice little flank angle here. Looks like that guy wanted to rush me. Keep this up and the battle is yours. Only barely managed to hit that guy once. But we did get the assist. That pulse rifle, ouch. That thing hurts. But we're kind of spawn trapping this guy's a little bit right now. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Then they're going to spawn behind us. They're kind of just chilling there. Oh, there it is. No, I wasn't able to pop my barricade for cover. Yeah, I called it too. He switched to a sky rifle. <laughs> Man, I'm actually really happy we managed to get this map. That it's just perfect, you know, <laughs> for the place that we're looking to do here. I know this isn't necessarily the most interesting gameplay, but it's such a nice little change of uh, a playstyle, I guess you could say. And the scar rifle is so satisfying to use. Oh, I'm pretty weak here. Might have to be forced to pop a barricade. So we can get that super pop in the health region. Let's get a couple final kills here before the game is over. Calm down, buddy. Raid isn't out yet. We're gonna push this guy on my radar. Might be baiting me towards his players. Oh, here is the sky rifle fly. Can you hit your crits? Can you hit your crits? You can't hit your crits. Oh, we got double teamed right there too at the end. We're seven points away, six points away from winning this game. We got two supers being popped. And that's pretty much gonna be the game right there, man. We're gonna win, you know, obviously best car rifle in the game, you know. Can't contest me. Screw your Jerry Rabbit and your nameless midnight. Ten out of ten would wanna play again. Ten seconds. Oh, this head glitch. Tactics bring victory. Man, I'm telling you, dude, this is so much fun. I'm about to load up another one. I was about to kill that Spectro, too. See, it's slow, right? And it must be kind of boring. Very passive. Good. But it's a lot of fun. Like, get that click in the heads, getting those three taps. And then, like, sometimes you get the explosion, you do damage someone else, and then they die to, like, the sunspot or whatever. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. This has been Frostbolt with the Scout Rifle gameplay. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.